who should be coming in live hope so anyway there we are there we are awesome 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 hi everyone this is Chicho. welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is may 6 2021 and this is a unscheduled live stream and it's a comic book call live stream i picked up the package yesterday and uh, i've been waiting for it for a couple of weeks for it to come it got tied up at the border so i was thinking i might have to pay duty on it and when i went to pick it up i was a little nervous on the on picking it up but there was no duty on it so i was very happy it's one comic books cgc graded modern age okay aside from that we're going to give everyone about a five minute wait for them to pop into the live stream because i just announced this morning on patreon on discord on our video on our um, social network sites where we announce stuff on vk um, parlor is down uh, again so you know because of censorship and whatnot there's a war taking place right now between the technocrats and those that support free speech so crack i'm glad you're here dude you're gonna love this lurking just picking up some lunch and heading back to the office hello hello crack crack tell me how long you got for lunch we'll do it in your lunch break <laughs> you're gonna love this isn't you're gonna love this you're gonna love this uh milsey 115 hey hope you're a good bro doing well man thank you very much thank you very much appreciate it hope everyone's doing well lord lord of iron how are you doing morning chicho hope all is well indeed indeed we got a comic book haul we got a comic book haul <laughs> just a quickie intro to this while we wait for people to roll in because um you know it was a short announcement a uh, very short announcement just this morning on charter days how you doing hey chicho hope you and chad are doing well indeed indeed gang i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about which is basically layered on mathematics you can follow the work on patreon i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share a like and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we we binge oh, we've been oh, great to catch this stream again <laughs> nice to have you you're gonna like this if you like the comic book world man uh you're gonna like this if you like the comic book world felix how's it going chicho i don't know if you remember but in the last relationship stream you gave me some advice on uh talking to a girl in my class i that was a while ago I, you sent him a note or something i took it and we've been talking for some time now i'm gonna ask her to go on a walk in a local wood soon awesome so thank you for the advice which gave me the balls to talk to her my pleasure felix my pleasure and honestly from the heart man i wish i wish i had people that had given me advice to talk to certain people that i wanted to approach when i was uh younger elder god thank you very much for the tier one sub and hello elder god how are you doing so felix my pleasure man i'm i'm sharing as much as i can and uh, some of the stuff that i'm sharing is things that i wish i knew when i was younger you know we can only pass it along right i'm glad it worked out i'm glad it didn't go dark <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> cheers man Maldoras. how are you doing cheers cheers uh we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e gang for those of you that are supporting this work on twitch and the mods thank you very much for the support gang and for those of you that want to participate in these live streams twitch is where you want to be at okay i do announce these live streams usually 30 minutes before we go live on minds vk gap and parlor uh, those are the platforms that we're active on okay and we do have a discord page you can come to our chat anytime you want on twitch and type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up include a link at the bottom where we have a discord server where we've got a whole bunch of different folders where people are sharing information and it is fantastic fantastic 
for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do announce the live stream and we do announce we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes come to discord gang it's a free speech zone okay i don't care what side of spectrum you're from show respect discuss debate dislike each other verbally discuss your uh, conflicts and there is no council culture on our discord okay and we will be uploading this audio to sensor to to bitch you to rumble and to odyssey and gang a heads up i'm gonna make an announcement <laughs> indeed oh god uh did you catch the season finale I, mean, so I did so good so good so good and last night i watched episode number 16 of attack on titan man if you if you love anime and you haven't been watching attack on titan i don't know what you're thinking about what's going through your mind you need to watch attack on titan uh not for the faint at heart <laughs> i'm more adult oriented the violence is over the top over the top right slick mick and invincible was fantastic so good it's got a it's got two more seasons coming it had got approved for two more seasons so good so good sick mick comics co comics 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 how are you doing brother doing good slick mick <laughs> awesome uh, lord of iron i watched that before i go to the gym it's it, it it it's so intense so intense so intense you mean attack on titan or invincible uh lord of iron crack okay at my desk you have my full attention awesome let's do the comic book hall gang at my level uh, elder god at your level of violence and more <laughs> it's hardcore and same with invincible both attack on titan and invincible uh, elder god watch invincible it's pretty it's really good okay and attack on titan is phenomenal okay i'm gonna take these guys down i have arrived zare awesome 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 attack on titan okay lord of Iron. lord of Iron. yeah attack on titan man you watch attack on titan you do not want to be a victim and you will never be a victim you want to be strong and be able to uh the best that you can be <laughs> just like make i watched attack on titan and then i can't wait till the show finished so i read the anime and i'm so sad it's all over but so happy i read it i i'm gonna i'm gonna wait it's gonna take one more year for the last 16 episodes to come out i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm on i watched episode 16 last night now i gotta wait a year for the next 16 so i'm like oh like i don't know what to do right i need something on that intensity level it it's amazing it's amazing felix i finished the attack on manga recently i won't no 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 i'm not going to read your comment felix i'm not even going to read it decide that change and oh no 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 i'm not going to read it i'm not going to read it i'm not going to invincible is unreal indeed uh milsey indeed super good lord of iron both are really great but invincible takes the gore to another level <laughs> when battle beast showed up <laughs> man blew my mind <laughs> funny i was so disappointed as well oh no no i'm not gonna read attack on titan invincible attack on titan elder god invincible and attack on titan attack on titan is a different beast than invincible invincible is they're both phenomenal anyone else excited for the yukozami uh yuzumaki animated i don't know you the yuzumaki animated crack what's the yuzumaki animated you have to watch invincible order oh the boys is really good too by the way elder god the boys as well put that on your list <laughs> next time you're uh you're in the heat of the moment with uh with a partner you'll be a little careful if you watch the boys uh, for violence reference a woman is brutally devoured at the 
<laughs> that's attack on titan gang let's do comic book haul it's a uh junji junji ito story the horror the japanese horror guy he's amazing yeah yeah horror manga creator there's an animated series of that coming out oh wow wow oh crack send me a uh send me a pm about it or i'll try to remember look it up hey chicho ronnie how are you doing okay gang comic book haul let me tell you what we got yes that's the guy yes there is later this year oh right on crack Woohoo! comic book time gang this comic book let me show you let me show you it's one box okay one box okay one box one box cgc graded okay this box cost this comic book cost $189 US $23.25 shipping for a total of $212.27 US in Canadian funds it came out to about $260-$70 okay and this comic book is what was a grade I'm gonna show you the grade I'm gonna we're gonna crack it open the CGC grade is <laughs> I'm gonna crack it open cyanide for dinner how are you doing <laughs> this comic book this comic book graded love them elder god Woo, comics this graded comic book came about because we had a comic book haul okay where i bought you know it, it, it was a short box and there was a whole bunch of stuff we ended up getting that's a tight that's a tidy something bobber it's i don't usually go this heavy on comic books this would be in some of the top expensive comics i've bought chicho's rich no chicho's not rich but chicho spent in, in his happy, happiness yeah chicho is rich in his happiness i don't i don't this is this to me is for present nostalgic from the past investment for the future this comic book comic book hall it encompasses everything right because I don't go, I don't, I don't spend money in bars. I don't go, I don't buy stocks. I don't invest in mega corporations and whatnot, right? This is what I put my time and money, my effort in. And you need a certain type of investment, gang, uh, because you're not going to become financially independent if you're relying on salary to get you through life. Okay you need something that you're gonna put your funds in to get a higher return in the future because that's the way it works fiat currency does not retain okay does not retain its value is buying power okay as for the comic book we did a comic book haul a month ago a month and a half ago where we a month ago probably a month and a half ago probably all the all the money coming in different denominations 258 dollars and 60 cents canadian and canadian dollar has gone up two cents since i bought this so it was actually more in canadian funds but canadian dollar value has gone up relative to the us canadian dollar has gone up it went from 69 to 82 now so it's gone up 13 cents relative to the us dollar in the last year right so that's a huge gain that's over that's over a 15 percent gain relative to canadian uh, us dollars right so it's a good time to if you're canadian a good time to buy comic books and american funds because our our canadian dollar is higher up right part of personal investing uh it's how much in yen four nine one <laughs> four bill no it can't be that much thing bob or passive income it's fifteen thousand six hundred indian rupees fun chicho graded comics ha ha one of the comic books we got from that haul was strangers in paradise number two all right this is the gold edition so it's the third or fourth printing of it right good to know chicho i am just about to buy a batch of comics from a small plug yeah crack if you're if you're in canada it's a good time to buy comic books in u.s dollars 
because Canadian dollar has gone up like uh, do 69 uh, 13 divided by 69 so that's close to 20 percent increase in the last year so our buying power is 20 percent more right you were only slightly off so we got this it's a third printing and thank you for the follows gang and thank you for the subs it's a third printing i believe of strangers in paradise right and i've never read the original series the original mini series of strangers in paradise this is number two so i was missing missing issue number one and number three so i wasn't going to start reading it until i got issue number one and number three and crack that's here right now saw that i was missing issue number two and number three i believe and sent as a care package issue number one this is again the third printing or whatever it is the gold printing issue number one of strangers in paradise and issue number three of strangers in paradise and i sat down and read them right fantastic fantastic there is a reason why terry moore and this is strangers in paradise number one the original series is the first uh comic book put out by terry moore right terry moore is the person that did uh rachel rising echo uh motor girl uh he's doing um there's a new horror series he's putting out right now right so this is the first comic book that he put out the original one and this is the second and this is the third the third one so crack was generous enough to send these to me to read them right so this isn't strangers in paradise yes it is strangers in paradise which issue is it what grade is it cereal is a new one yeah and i'm getting it it's on my pull list and it's already fetching like the higher price than what the cover was going for right so strangers in paradise let's see what we got let's see what we got okay. from the price you know that it's got to be the first print well maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be the first print but it is the first print and crack yeah it's because of you that i'm getting this if i hadn't read strangers in paradise i wouldn't be chasing it uh, issue number four cgc <laughs> issue number four would be number one of the continuing series holy crap chicho and crack i had to do it i had to do it nicely packaged right? and the guy had said that this is just come back from uh, being graded cheryl how you doing oh did i miss it no not yet we're just about to crack it open we only got one comic book okay this is it this is it and cheryl it's one of these original print remember on the comic book haul we got issue number two of strangers in paradise and crack sent us issue number three and issue number one right so after reading them i went on the hunt i was on ebay i was looking i was looking i was looking i was looking and i saw something <laughs> saw it. and the price uh, cheryl 189 dollars us okay plus 23 dollars shipping okay so uh, basically 220 us it ended up costing there's another package what the hell look at this like multi-package nice 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 shiny indeed shiny indeed very nice very nice oh ready gang okay <laughs> check this out check this out strangers in paradise number two graded 9.6 okay 
got? Graded at 9.6. Awesome. Awesome. Let me take it out of the beauty crack. On CGC's website, there is uh, there are 13 graded at number two that uh, are not signed and three that are signed so there's or 14 or something let's pull it out beautiful right Terry Moore story cover and art has to come up and here's a back cover check it out you can totally get this so clear you can totally see the reflection of there's our fan up top nice 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 <laughs> awesome 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 i wonder if the back of the reprint is also I don't think the back of the reprint is that image a really beautiful crack very happy to have this let me see if the back of the reprint is also that image no it's not oh it's a different color check that out check that out right so it's just a different color same image but different color the reflection is just so clean right Elder God. <laughs> awesome. Very happy to have this man. Story and Art by Terry Moore. So this is only the second issue that Terry Moore has ever put out. Right? Fantastic read. It was really good. I've known about Strangers in Paradise for a long time. And uh, I never uh sat down and read i read some issues but i read it from the continuing series i never read the original three issues so it, it was awesome getting the intro to them right uh, wonder what number one number one crack there's one on ebay number one graded at 9.6 is listed at 1800 dollars okay and it just recently came up when i was looking for this uh number one wasn't available uh it was too expensive for me for my blood <laughs> right so number one is a little too expensive for my blood uh but it's being listed for 1800 dollars, and there is only i see it see it just as you were saying it yeah and there's only in cgc graded for number one i believe there's only um there's eight uh eight that are graded nine point uh eight and thirty four that are graded nine point uh four uh, nine point six uh that aren't signed total thirteen at nine point eight and forty three uh, uh graded nine point six so it's selling for going for a heavy price right five years ago you could have bought that comic probably for around three to four hundred dollars okay right now eighteen hundred and there's only one on on ebay five years ago i wish i bought it you know you can only you can't buy everything right five years ago i was looking for it and it was too too expensive for my it was over my budget right 11 people watching it as well yeah i so eighteen hundred and thirty two dollars and thirty five cents canadian yeah no need to apologize uh cheryl uh, it made me laugh <laughs> <Just wasn't surprised. laughs> so that's that many ending barber says hilarious hilarious so very happy to have this gang very happy to have this okay and there's a signed one uh graded 9.6 that's selling uh, my comic shop is selling and by the way check this out my comic shop sells comic books on ebay 
right? And my comic shop on eBay has 9.6 selling listed at $425 US or something like this, right? But if you go to their website, the sign graded version, I'm pretty sure it's the same one. They're selling it for 425. So on eBay, I think it's 485 or something like this. So on their website is 425 okay so if you're buying from big retailers that are on ebay check their websites they're probably selling it at a discounted price from ebay because they're compensating for ebay's uh, cut in the thing and just a heads up regarding ebay as of may 18th or something like this ebay is not dealing with paypal the money if you sell comic books they're they're not going to deposit it into your paypal account they want your bank account information so right now um it's crazy like the shifts going on uh online are over the top right like google and youtube want your tax information are you out of your mind i ain't gonna give my tax information ebay now wants your bank accounts to be able to deposit money if you're selling stuff so right now i'm in the process of listing a whole bunch of comics on ebay to sell them for the money to go to my paypal account so because i don't want to i don't know if i want to go through my bank account with ebay i'll have to probably at some point but uh, i don't want to deal with that right now so that's what i'm doing right now every second day or so i'm listing some comic books uh, really nice comic yeah our charter day so i'm very happy about it us uh canada or us very expensive either very expensive it this is on the high end of what i spend on comic books right the highest i bought off ebay in, in times of, in terms of comic books is daredevil number one that i i believe i paid 400 dollars, 450 dollars canadian for it and we've done the reading for it daredevil number one the first appearance of daredevil that comic book now is probably selling for at that grade which was graded at five or something like this and i would agree with that grade like five four point five five maybe five point five that comic book is probably selling anywhere between two to three or more thousand dollars right so i usually don't go that high end but certain comics you just have to uh, you can't get them any cheaper and the price can get away from you right uh, then remember what happens if you don't give them tax info will they uh, demonetize no they're just going to take uh, their maximum amount of taxes and i'm in the process gang by the way i'm going to announce it today i've already uploaded the top five videos that we have on sensor tube except for the short beard cutting ones the long videos right the long cut videos the top five videos we have on sensor tube i've uploaded them to bitshoot rumble and odyssey at the same time and i'm going to explain this at the same time i've also monetized those videos on sensor tube on everything they have front roll ads pre-roll ads mid-roll ads end of end of video ad right three reasons why i'm doing this one of them hopefully it will trick uh sensor tubes automated censoring algorithms to start promoting us because uh cliff diving. cliff diving will do this summer elder god uh maybe they'll start promoting our recommend our videos and stop unsubscribing people from our channel uh because they want money that's all sensor tube cares about uh the primary reason is to incentivize incentivize people to watch our videos on the other platforms because at the description of all all the videos i'm going to do this for almost everything right at the in the description of the videos on sensor tube i say you can watch this video uh, advertisement free on the following free free speech platforms that we're active on and i list the link provide the link to all the three sites where the same video is going to be listed on those platforms so it's an incentivize people to watch our content on other platforms right and the third reason is is because sensor tube is going to start deducting us taxes from our revenue so as to compensate adjust for that if they're going to if it's all about money on sensor tube so be it now we have the other platforms we're uploading there anybody that really wants to follow the information follow the content without advertisements follow them on the other platforms i don't have a problem with that now okay terpenator how are you doing 
uh, Hi Chicho eBay already enforced this on me it takes way longer to get your money and they ah oh, they charge more than PayPal did it's outrageous that is insane uh, eBay just came out and said their stock came down because they said they don't expect their revenue to be higher next quarter they're they will ball the revenue eBay is becoming a shit site just like sensor tube right what I might do after this next batch of selling comic books I might not sell on eBay anymore what we might start doing I'll list the comic books that I'm willing to sell and we'll do an auction on twitch how do you guys feel about that open auction on twitch on any comic books that I want to sell to generate money to do what I need to do okay I'll announce it and we'll do open auction on twitch whatever they go for whatever they go for right we won't have to pay eBay's fees eBay's shipping fees eBay's transfer fees F any platform that is squeezing their users right squeezing their users to satisfy Wall Street F them okay dirt plug when I see an eBay uh, my comic shop listing I always buy off the site directly with that I find my comic shop higher higher than market yeah cool 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 dirt plug I haven't bought from my comic shop but I like their website really huge respect to their website fantastic fantastic monopoly money launderer <laughs> hello I made said what are you doing today what are we doing today I'm not sure if that's towards me or not that's a great idea great idea to up okay we do smart idea yeah I, I don't want to deal with these uh, technocrats and uh, these legacy platforms that are just constantly squeezing people when I started selling on eBay last year I found out that they're actually charging eBay fees on shipping in a means to stop fraud on their site so they're punishing everybody because they can't handle their own site and they're not punishing they're not that was their excuse they're, they were doing that to kick up their revenues right uh, King doctor is comic book selling your main income no no I teach I'm, I'm selling I sell some comic books to be able to either buy comic books or pay for living like I don't I'm, I'm not a wealthy individual I don't have tens of thousands of dollars in savings accounts and in Wall Street or hundred I don't have that for me I live a pretty simple life right I do my own cooking I I don't eat out very much I don't drink out at all I, last time I had a drink outside I don't know when it was I used to when I used when I was living large sure I did a lot of I don't travel uh, so for me I live a simple life I maintain my life when I need extra money I sell comic books okay I pick up more clients uh, to teach uh, but I have to be careful with that because I can get burnt out I do more live streams I put out more videos but I have to be careful with that because I don't I can't sacrifice everything else for that so it's a fine balancing act right it's a fine balancing act does Russia have an online selling I, I don't know I dumped eBay in 2005 <laughs> they ripped me off yeah thing about I got uh, scammed a couple of times uh, three or four times on the last batch that I sold we'll see what happens in this one thing about Chicho uh, the only downside I see uh, is bits not getting very high a uh, bids not getting very high and also possibly not having very much interest in your user base but it's still a decent idea let's give it a shot see what happens right we'll do a comparison I'm selling books on eBay right now right and I'll pick some of those books uh, what do you call it I have other copies of those books and we'll put them here and we'll do a comparison we'll include it into our ASMR uh, personal finance videos right well, it is what it is right or I'll list it. if it doesn't work out I'll list them on eBay in uh, you know other copies on eBay and stuff so eBay is not 100% off yet I, I want to see how this rollout plays out right but we'll see how it goes pillow I'm not wealthy uh, got only one million dollar loan from my father <laughs> named the politician <laughs> one million only 
AOC maybe. I don't know. Uh, what do you, uh, well, we're not going to go there. Let's talk politics another time. Uh, King. Uh, wait, really? I actually thought you were a retired millionaire or something. Nah. Why would I retire and do what? Uh, I love doing this. I love teaching mathematics. I love collecting comic books. I love selling comic books. I love talking about comic books. I love making food. I love what I do. Retirement, by the way, here's a stat. Uh, what is it? More than 50% or certain huge percentage of people when they retire at 65 years old, they die within five years. <laughs> right oops maybe you should have done your living before that right double stream on ct uh ct i don't know what ct is yeah true true worth a try worth a try thing bomber ronnie lofa that i did not inherit any uh chicho do you tutor math locally yeah for sure i tutor math locally I have students locally that's my main source of income it's not sensor tube it's it's not it's not twitch right these are these are me decentralizing trying to decentralize but my main source of revenue is my students man one-on-one uh, -on -one classroom yeah and i do groups every now and then too all right bins think about chicho i think you naturally have a uh, uh, neuro linguistic programming tendencies very positive speech and i can assume the thought patterns well i can go dark too brother I can go, but I'm a problem solver, right? So sensor tube is uh, deplatforming, shadow banning, unsubscribing people uh, from our channel and stuff like this. So instead of really uh, kicking, you know, get down on the ground and protest, protest, we do we do things to compensate for that, right? They want our tax revenue, tax information. My my personal tax information on SensorTube to give to Google a SensorTube. <laughs> Are they out of their minds, right? When I when I do business with someone, because as far as I'm concerned, that's sort of doing business with SensorTube, right? If I'm doing business with someone, they don't ask me for my tax information to do business with me. When someone hires me to teach them mathematics. They don't go hey can we get your tax information excuse me <laughs> go go f yourself right that is insane run a twitch sensor tube live stream in some testing no elder god i don't want to live stream on sensor tube i thought about this by the way when i started live streaming on twitch after a year i was thinking about doing both twitch and sensor tube at the same time but then sensor tube was shadow banning and doing all this stuff and no, we're divesting from sensor two. I want less contact with sensor two, not more contact with sensor two. Uh, it's just the name of the game, right? Uh, they I have completely lost trust in them. Uh, so the whole thing right now is to decentralize away from sensor two, not towards sensor two. Uh, even if we got ten times more viewers on sensor two live streaming than we do on Twitch, it's not worth it because we're giving more power away to sensor tube and they've already proven that they will stomp on you right if they need if they feel like it if you say the wrong word well hell no right i'll have a medium double double okay sir i'll need your tax information first yeah i just want my coffee yeah indeed crazy crazy Higgins how are you doing welcome to another live stream we're about to end our live stream this was a quickie 40 minute live stream speedy gonzalez style speedy gonzalez style so this is the comic book we got gang and crack thank you for hooking us up because getting issue number one and number three of strangers in paradise and having a read through one two three is the reason I picked this baby up at 9.6 on Googled on all mobiles. Cool, cool, cool. Gang, um, I'm doing some stuff in the back end. I was gonna do some live streams this week. I'm just not gonna have the time. Uh, I'm uploading some of the videos to the other three platforms, 
uh, from sensor to the top videos there uh, working on that doing some other things listing comic books on eBay so uh, once I do this first wave of sort of adjusting and there's going to be a whole bunch of short segments that I'm going to be loading up on BitChute, Rumble and Odyssey okay so there's 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 going to be at least most likely 20 little short segments being loaded on BitChute, Rumble and Odyssey the odds are maybe about five of them will make it to sensor tube okay so if you're watching this comic book live stream <laughs> this comic book video comic book haul on sensor tube if you enjoy those little shorts that i've been pulling from our current events politics investing all the other live streams that we do pulling them and loading them up on sensor tube that's going to decrease and they will be on the other platforms the links will be in the description of this video join us on the other platforms um, if you like those content otherwise uh, we're going to keep on uploading to sensor tube just the frequency is not going to be as frequent as the other platforms and warning given those of you watching on sensor tube from now on okay from this video on i'm not doing it for this video okay but after this video pre-roll ads mid-roll ads and post roll ads will be turned on on sensor tube three reasons for this incentivize people to watch us on the other platforms to try and trick sensor tubes algorithms so they will not they will stop unsubscribing people from our channel they will actually possibly recommend us because we have all these advertisements turned on and all they give a rat's ass about is wall street money so maybe we'll get on to the recommended list again and they want our tax information and there's no way we're going to give google our tax information so they're going to deduct maximum taxes that's my guess maximum taxes so to compensate the tax that's going to go to google that's going to be being held there going to go to the u.s government right uh we're turning on all the advertisements okay if you want to watch chicho content videos ad free including the asmr content ad free okay i'm going through all the top videos we have right now on sensor tube i've done it to five of them it's going to take me a long time to do we've got over 1200 videos on sensor tube but i'm starting with the top ones i'm putting in almost all the videos will do this it will be pre-roll ads mid-roll ads and end of video ads gang for those of you who love the asmr content you want to watch that content what's once the advertisements kick in on the other platforms good luck i hope you join us there okay eddie g the hall the hall let me show it to you 189 dollars us uh cost of the comic 23 dollars shipping total 212 dollars us strangers in paradise cgc graded at six nine point six sweet 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 very happy to have this beauty 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 okay elga which platform is the prime um uh, which platform is the prime one uh you know what i'm okay with e whichever one people want to watch it on i i have i have i have a sort of a a likeness to to bit shoot because that was the first second platform i started uploading on because they were free speech but rumble is fantastic odyssey is fantastic i like the odyssey has all of our most of our videos now right so odyssey has we did the sync with sensor tube so 832 videos were transferred from sensor tube to odyssey so that has more of our library on there i have to say that i only watch watch uh, on sensor tube because my smart tv has it built in to be on no worries and by the way gang look i don't want to be uh 
forcing people you know twisting people's arms and stuff if you're watching on sensor tube fantastic right it generates revenue for me okay thank you for that right like subscribe make sure you're turn subscribe still right fantastic but i'm letting you know advertisements are going to be turned on okay it sensor tube uh has left us no choice no choice i've been on there for whatever 15 years now right uploading videos and when they started doing advertisements i only put in front roll ads that was it sensor tube actually was going into our videos and turning mid-roll videos on and i would have to go in and remove those mid-roll videos right uh, click it so it wouldn't happen right so uh but they forced our hand we have to do it so if you want to see the stuff ad free the other three platforms uh, rumble might put in front row ads i'm not 100 sure on that but i know odyssey and bit are no ads for sure okay rumble odyssey is number one odyssey odyssey is o-d-y-s-e-e -E. okay chicho searching for slabs action comics number one for 50 dollars <laughs> i wish sorry i wish uh envious uh one question you said sensor tube is deleting subscribers from you chicho that's sad. that's sad and it's not just me they've been deleting subscribers for independent content creators and sensor tube came out and said they're promoting recommending only authoritative authoritative figures now if you're following news and politics do you really think cnn fox abc nbc pb they're authoritative <laughs> hilarious right it is what it is it is what it is oh man envious i know brother i know i know it's sad it's like a it's like a divorce right but before we divorce we have to we have to protect our assets <laughs> from from censor too <laughs> have you ever seen a divorce that the person is laughing his ass off <laughs> who gets the kids i get the kids man i get the kids I'm, I'm a way better parent i'm a way better partner than the sensor tube is no doubt no doubt <laughs> gang i hope you have a fantastic fantastic next few days um the odds are i probably won't get to do announce another set of streams uh, for at least another few days okay early next week look for the next set of streams to be announced uh and probably in about two or three days i'll pop into discord and list the streams that we're going to be doing or that i have lined up and we'll we'll list we'll see what else people want done okay and uh and we'll get it done five years next month since i found chicho awesome elder god ding bobber you're the cool parent they're the beautiful alcoholic <laughs> too funny thing bobber too funny thing bobber awesome gang i hope you have a fantastic fantastic next few days gang and i'll see you guys on discord and on the other platforms uh can we have a movie i know i gotta catch up with the movies i got two more movies to watch take care everyone take care everyone have a fantastic next few days i'll see you guys online bye for now